the grandeur of 18th century weddings, where the bride and groom were as stiff as the collars they wore. Here we have The Wedding of Stephen Beckingham and Mary Cox, a masterpiece by none other than William Hogarth. Now, don't be fooled by the grand setting. This isn't St. Benet's where the actual vows were exchanged, but a fanciful depiction set in St. Martin in the Fields. Now, you might ask, what are you looking at? Well, let me guide your gaze through this splendid confusion of art and reality. Beckingham stands there a London lawyer who probably argued better than he wooed, beside his lovely bride Mary Cox. They're surrounded by family members who seem to have mastered the art of standing still for an eternity. The clergyman? Oh, he's got a face that screams, I've read too many books and a body that echoes, and I've eaten too many pies. And let's not forget our impassive gentleman leaning on his walking stick with all the enthusiasm of a wet blanket. But wait, there's more. This isn't just any church interior, it's like Hogarth ordered it off a menu, one grand setting please, hold the authenticity. It's actually based on St. Martin in the Fields, but with an extra dash of drama because why not? So next time you glance at this painting hanging majestically in Gallery 630 at the Met 5th Avenue remember, things aren't always what they seem in art or weddings.